Hi guys, this is Lori Lovell Barr, and this is In My City. On today's episode, I am so honored to have with us Dr. Primrose Cameron. Dr. Cameron, thank you so much for joining us today. Of course, yeah. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> At the Deland Library, thank you yeah. so, so much. I just wanted to um, say that I was so glad to be with you the other day at the um, Women's Conference, the Women's Brunch. It was a beautiful program, and I can't Thank wait you. to talk to you all about that. Mm -hmm. So before we get started, let's tell the people about you, give them a, um, some, some um, facts about you here. The fact is <laughs> <laughs> that I can't tell the facts, no. So, <laughs> so I am from Rose Cameron. Mm -hmm. I've actually lived in the West Volusia area since 1999. Okay. Um, graduated high school in Germany and then moved wow. to go to Bethune Cookman and rest is history on that aspect. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just really a community advocate and have been for my entire entire term here. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Okay, so you are an advocate here in the uh, West Volusia area. Yeah. All of Volusia County, All but Volusia I just said I live in West Volusia. Yeah. Okay, and you have a couple of different um, social programs that you're running. Yeah. And let's talk about those. You have uh, Sister Build, mm -hmm. um, Calling a Few Good Men, mm -hmm. and Sister Build for Girls. Yeah, okay. so I'm so excited about both initiatives. Okay. I'm actually just kind of revamped uh -huh. um, from last year. I've been a mentor in the community for well over 20 years and an educator as well. Okay. Um, but the last year, I, I decided to say, you know what, let's just really push forward. Mm -hmm. The only child in me said, you can't do everything by yourself forever, <laughs> right? So, so Sistersville Network um, for Women is for ages um, 19 and up. Okay. And we're, we just really focus on uplifting and supporting one another um, in the best way possible. So it's actually Sistersville Network and we push. And push stands for pursuing underlying strengths and happiness. I like that. And so at the end of every meeting, because we meet monthly and we have activities and we just really take um, folks to other levels, but at the end of every meeting I ask, how would you like us to help push you? Okay. Right? Yeah. Um, so that's one initiative. Um, Sisters Bill Network for Girls Incorporated mm -hmm. is my nonprofit, um, and so we actually work with the Man Up Mentoring Program. Okay. We meet one Saturday a month. and officially and then we meet doing another activity whether it's giving back to the community or doing uh, mother and daughter retreats things of that nature Ooh. yeah and so we're excited about that we Good. see um, at least 15 girls with 30 students and all and we hold quarterly bowling events and different things um, so that's near and dear to my heart right I believe that all of our young ladies are, are princesses and become queens because my daddy told me so <laughs> uh, so I believe in it um, so yeah so that's really been exciting with Sisters Bill Network for Girls Incorporated Excellent. And then, this is the one where folks sometimes say, ouch, so I'll preface it with, it's not my fault, I just have a really good dad. <laughs> um, and that's the Calling a Few Good Men Call to Action, mm -hmm. which is the traveling conference. We've been in Arakabessa, my background is Jamaica, and my whole family was born in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So we've been in Arakabessa, Jamaica. We've been um, also in Daytona Beach with mm -hmm. Chief Capri, and um, we've been here in Deland. We were in Deltona a couple weeks ago. Right. And we just hold men responsible and accountable for the lives of our children, right? right? And so at the end of every conference, and we'll be in a pop on November 10th as well. Um, I'm working with a city commissioner there. Mm -hmm. um, so. Commissioner Smith. And so what we do is at the end of every conference, we do a call, right? The best way is to kind of get called out, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. so we do a call and, and men um, who, who feel that it's their time and their opportunity, we say that everybody has something to give, right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't always have to be financial. And so we can just give a little time. Right, and so at the end of every conference, we do a call for mentors, and we've been successful working with Catalyst Mentoring Program and Man Up Mentoring Program and others. That's excellent. Yeah. Okay, so you just had the um, Deltona Calling a Few Good Men conference. Yes. Which was wonderful at um, the center. That yeah, was great. center at Deltona. What were you looking to get out of that? What did you want the people to walk away with? So, so for those who know me and know me well, they know that my background is in counseling, and mm -hmm. so I'm always looking for that extra push 
um, for individuals, but also that level of awareness, mm -hmm. right? And so sometimes what we've done, um, society has kind of pushed us in another direction and hasn't allowed us to celebrate our own story, yeah. right? And so sometimes the emphasis is on women and men say, what about me? And then this emphasis on men and men and the women say, what about me, right? Mm -hmm. And so what we were really looking for is one of the objective is to create a network of men that are, are positive role models mm -hmm. for our kids, right? So when my 24-year-old son sees um, men, he has something to look forward to. And he'll tell me in a minute, Mom, I ain't ready to be a mentor because I see where I need to go, right? Um, and so that's present. But then the men were able to tell their story. Like we had Andros Bell. Um, for, from the Hard Rock, yes. um, a new GM. He's under 30. I think he just turned 30. 30. Yeah, he just turned 30 yeah. years old. He'll tell you about the struggle in college and just growing up and in his environment mm -hmm. to someone believing in him and pushing him mm. to be who he became, right? Yeah. And for him to be able to do the same for others. Right, and so that's really important. We have Vaughn Young from Naples, Florida. Oh, that he was so great. Oh my that goodness. That circle he did. That the, was so right. Awesome. Vaughn that. took us, gosh, on a whirlwind of emotions. Yes. I guess would be a good way to explain it, right? Um, just having all the men circle around and telling the women and children to get in the center and that we should be at any point able to fall back, mm. right? Because men should hold our community down. Now, I'll tell you, I was a little scared, a little hesitant. <laughs> I had to look around to see who was behind me because I don't know, I've been <laughs> grown for a long time. But, um, but yeah, we just felt secure in knowing that that in the presence of our men who, who ensure that our communities are working properly, yes. that we can take it far, you know? And so we had Vaughn Young from Naples. Yes. He has the manhood empowerment uh, movement. We also had um, the um, state representative, um, Dave, um, David Santiago, yes. um, you know, and he tells his story of working job after job, not having a um, college degree and becoming a state representative. You know, so it was just a really, really um, good time. We also had Derek Collins, a young man. I don't think he's 30, right? No, and he, that's right. And he has a stress anxiety center in Daytona Beach. And, and the thing that things that he is doing for the children there is so empowering. Um, we had um, Sean King with um, yes. the Man Up Mentoring Program on the panel. And so we just had a really good blend of individuals of diverse backgrounds mm -hmm. sharing with the community of what our next steps are. Mm -hmm. and, and not only just leaving it out there, but really finding solutions yeah. so that we can have a stronger community. And then we had young men right? Mm -hmm. This is where tears start coming, because my son has had the same mentor since he was in ninth grade, and he's 24 years old. That is great. Right? And so when you have a story like that, and you know that the mentor probably knows some stuff I don't know, you know, uh, because I'm not a dude. Like, I tell people, I just want to be a girl. Like, I just want to be the mother. Mm -hmm. I just want to be the woman. I don't want to be the guy. And so when men step up, it makes our lives so much easier. So much easier. It is so yeah. true. Talking about sharing stories, let's switch gears into what was an emotional, yeah, spiritual emotional. day, yeah. yes, which was the um, Women's Brunch, the yeah. not just the Women's Brunch, but it was Sister Bill's yeah. Network Women's Brunch. Tell us about that. So any event that I have, you know, I, I lose sleep. People always ask me, do I sleep? I'm like, I try, I really do. But it may be in the stoplight, I don't know. But, uh, but at this, so I thought about the brunch way, you know, before it ever occurred, and I wanted to celebrate her story. So just like with the men, I want to celebrate their story. I don't want us bashing on each other all the time. You know, let's release some of that stuff. But I don't want us to bash on ourselves. Yes. Right? Right. And so sometimes we think, and, and I'm working on um, a book right now where, you know, I'm talking about my 20s or I'm talking about my 30s, mm -hmm. where it wasn't always right. Like I say, three degrees ago, I wasn't right, you know? <laughs> I like that. Thank, thank like God that. for three degrees later, yeah. <laughs> I had to get it together. But, but there's so much that goes on in our everyday living mm -hmm. that we should be able to celebrate because we're not there anymore. Yes. Right? We're like, not. we're not there. So open up the gifts that led to where you currently are. Mm -hmm. And so celebrating her story was in another emotional it world. Really I was awesome. bawling. Oh they presented God. me gifts. I didn't know what to do. I'm like, ah! But um, we had Teresa Rand, CEO of YMCA, and mm -hmm. she shared her story. Uh, my former student, um, 
Sandy Abrego Guzman when she yes. was 15 years old. I was her teacher. <laughs> Shout out to Sandy. But um, yes, Sandy. yeah, Janice <laughs> Rivera, just just awesome individuals. Evangelist um, Glasser, who has her What's in Your Purse conference yes. coming up. Like just awesome individuals. But when we're not afraid to release all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. and put in the atmosphere, and then when you have 80 other individuals that oh. aren't going to pass judgment on you, we've had a good day. Yes, we did. Yeah, we really yeah. Did. So it was really, it was empowering. <laughs> but I, yeah, it was really emotional because, and it, what it also um, led me to not forget is the amount of things that happen with our children mm. that are left unspoken. Yes. Right, and so I think that's important too, and that's why Sisters Build Network for Girls Incorporated, mm -hmm. um, Axe Mentoring Program, some of the other programs that are out there, um, those are important because if we work with our, our youth then, mm -hmm. then when we become adults, maybe we won't have those testimonies yes. and stories. Yeah. I like that. You know? And I love that how you honor um, so many people. Yeah. But I want to talk about how you just got honored from FEA. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Another emotional <laughs> whirlwind. So uh, tell yeah. us what the FEA um, celebrate you on. Yes, yeah, so I've been a union advocate for well over 20 years. I've actually worked for the local union, Volusia United Educators, um, for 14 years. I've been an educator over 20 years. I've been wow. a therapist, you know, different things. Um, but. I, I take great pride and I, and I humbly um, walk in the form as being a role model or a, a community leader. And so Florida Education Association, which is our state union, mm -hmm. has a um, annual award ceremony and they cover different areas. One's like a Cesar Ch um, Chavez Award and mm -hmm. different areas. But I um, actually earned the Martin Luther King Jr. Award, yeah, wow. for my community um, activism. So I'm excited about oh, that. So I was presented with that on, Saturday, on Friday and then on on Saturday, we had the brunch, yeah. and yeah, so that it was, was a great stuff. weekend. Yeah, was it was really good. Weekend. Yeah, it's those type of things, you know, so, party in my head all the time. All the time. So yeah. I'm glad you just said that, because that brings me to my next question. Yeah. So I know for a fact now mm -hmm. how all the way live you are. <laughs> Yes, yes, when I get to sleep. Uh, so I, I kind of want to bring it back to some fun facts. So where did that all come from? Where did that start from? What was it like for you at home? Yes, so my mother would say, I'm just like my father. My parents have been together well over 40 years, oh, right? That yeah. Awesome. Congratulations, so, mom. Right, <laughs> right. They were together. They were like, when they were 15 and 18, they were dating, oh, all that wow. stuff. And so, and then they had beautiful me, you know. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, so my dad is kind of extra. Like, even the smiling, I tell people, my father's nickname was Smiley. Oh, that's Right, so yeah. So I got it, honestly. Uh -huh. um, you know, I just started, and I've always been that person, um, but I just, I just started living intentionally, mm. right? Um, but growing up, I was kind of the jokester, probably why my son does it. So I can't be like mad, mad, you know? But uh, <laughs> yeah, and I, and I kind of, and the only child in me, I mean, when you're uh. sitting around playing with 20 Barbies, you know, yeah. you got to entertainment yes. or something. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, and so then one day, I was on Hood News, actually. Um, so shout out to Junior Goosby. He has um, a online um, radio um, broadcast called Hood News. Okay. And so I, I just remember meeting him downstairs um, from the building and saying to him, when do you want, don't you want me to have a show? And he was like, and he didn't know me. And he was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and so the first day I was so nervous, right? Now I talk all the time. I've spoken in front of 5,000 people. I've done all that, but it's something special about the camera and lights being on you. Yes. Right? It's a nice feeling because yes. the lighting is great. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I remember um, walking in the first day. I was so, so nervous. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I should just be all the way live. Ew. And so, yeah, I just kind of stuck. And then the dot com was kind of intentional too because I, I didn't even have the website yet. So thank goodness. Get out. Yeah. Thank goodness no one else has my name. So <laughs> primrosecameron.com is like a real website. You can Google it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it just, all of it became intentional, uh -huh. and we just put it together, and then you got me. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's so awesome. <laughs> so let's talk about um, PrimroseCameron.com. Yes. And Cameron Chronicles. Chronicles all yes. the way live. Okay. Yeah. So, so every Tuesday night, so I'm no longer with um, Hood News, but I every Tuesday night, I run a 30-minute segment, just interview folks that matter most, right? Mm -hmm. What are we doing in our communities to build our credit, to take care of our children, 
to dads that maybe you weren't doing the right thing before, but you're doing some good things now. Mm -hmm. Let's celebrate you. Let's let's bring you on the air, um, and let's just share what's happening. Right? Mm -hmm. We've had girls on the run. We've had wow. artists on there. Like we've had Nina Sky. We've, yeah. 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 So yeah. we've had like the gamut of folks who are doing things, and sometimes, um, you know, you don't toot your own horn. Right, because Mama said that's not right. Mm -hmm. um, but, but stay humble. Yeah, right? stay humble, right? So I don't mind doing it for you, right? Because right. I want folks to know yes, yes. that they're doing fabulous things. Yes. So yeah, so every Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m. Um, and then, you know, if I'm walking around with my phone at any given time, I'll do an Andrew Gillum <laughs> interview. I don't know, yes. you know. Yeah. Yeah. I saw <laughs> that one. That one was good. Yeah, so I always have to be ready. <laughs> but yeah, so um, just kind of started that because I wanted folks to know what we do have available. Mm -hmm because um, we live in silos often. Like, I know my neighbors. My neighbor brings in my garbage. My other neighbor has wow. chicken, gives me eggs, things like that. Wow. But everyone doesn't know, like, who is your neighbor and what do we have to offer? And so I wanted to bring that all the way live. Wow. Um, and so I just chose Tuesday nights at 7.30. That is so mm -hmm. cool. So we have to tune in, guys. Yes, we really do. Cameron. Yes. <laughs> and Cameron Enterprises. Yeah, so yeah. that is everything me. Okay. Um, you know, that's the motivational speaking. That's the workshops held. That's that's Sisters Build Network. Mm -hmm. um, that's anything that's positive and beautiful in the lives of others. Mm. Yeah, So, and that's intentional as well. I, I tell folks I keep my passport ready mm. um, because if negativity comes in the room, yes. I'm out of here. Oh, I like that. <laughs> right? Passport yes, ready. Yes, yes. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. here. So for me, that's really important to have peace in my space, I like right? That. Yes. So yeah, that's really, really important for me. So Cameron Enterprises is everything that falls um, in line. I, I have a few books that... Is those things will come out, yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So check it out, check it out. But yeah, so things are coming. Um, but that's all under Cameron Enterprises, and you know, workshops that are held, um, areas of diversity and loving yourself, and women empowerment, and yeah, just Love yeah, good that. stuff. You are, uh, listen, people. I don't know if you know, but this woman, like she was t just talking about her sleeping, she is always. <laughs> on yeah. the go. She has like five or four different things going on during the day. And yeah. I, you, you have to catch her. So <laughs> if you I'm, can. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm yeah. so honored that we did catch her. So yeah. I, we're going to close this out. Yes, so thank you so much. You, but I before that. we go, please tell the people where they can follow you, where they can find you, and how yeah. they can get in contact with yeah, you. Yeah, so very um, easy. So uh, thanks, shout out to my dad for naming me Primrose because <laughs> it makes it easier to find me. So, <laughs> right? So um, Primrose primrosecameron.com, um, spelled like it's said. Mm -hmm. um, also on Facebook, um, Primrose Cameron. Um, also on, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, so just check me out. Just Google Primrose Cameron and you'll find me. And Tuesday yes. night? At 7.30 p.m. all the way live um, on Facebook Live on Primrose Cameron. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Dr. Cameron, thank you so, thank so you. much. You've been so awesome. Guys, this is your host, Lori Lovell Bar. This was In My City. You like this episode, please follow us on um, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'm on Snapchat. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In My City 2018. And also, like us on Facebook, In My City Central Florida. Bye, guys. See you later. <laughs>